We'll see if it's that easy here. Escaping the pressure run. Will hit Jackson complete. Good. Work. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. They run on first down with Jackson. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. From the 38, Jackson eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. Now left side on the swing pass. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened to him. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. They make their first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Again to Elliott. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback, because he had no chance to block him. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw is Jackson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Play fake. Here's Jackson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Now back to the ground with Elliott. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports.
So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch, and precious time ticking off the clock. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Now Jackson. to their timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They go play action now. Jackson. It's incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Panthers will get the football back. Boy, an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there. Game tied fourth quarter. You got to be surprised. I am, and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of time the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out, and again, tie game fourth quarter makes this thing a little bit more interesting. Here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down from the 39-yard line. Here comes second down at six. Jackson to throw. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. It's a gain of three. Here's Jackson. And two. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Dancing to his left. He can run for it. Oh, no, he lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it, and they take the lead. So many times, tight games decided by one big play. A lot of times, of course, it's the offense here. It's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche, but it applies here. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. At their own 27-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you get... He's got a man complete. And he's free going down the left it's side. It's, it's a foot it. race. Touchdown. With six seconds remaining. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Yes, it was a touchdown. And not just a TD, but how about a long touchdown that puts them in a great position now. And now just an extra point away from tying this thing. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult.
They'll try and run it in. And he will not get into the end zone. The defense makes the stop of the game on the two-point try, and they might just get out of here with a win after all. The kickoff for Carolina. Mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first. Now they're in a really bad spot. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. A boost here to start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And they take a knee. Today's final score. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.